Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hi everybody, wish you a very great day from Dr. A. Vijayamudha Meri, Professor, Department of CSE, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss the knapsack problem using brute force approach. So first, let me explain what is this brute force approach. So it is a straightforward approach to a problem. That is, uh, it is just like iterating every possibility available to solve a particular problem. So some practical problems uh, of this uh, brute force approach are solving a Rubik's cube or hacking a pin in a number lock. The knapsack problem is if n items are given, how to pack the knapsack? to get the maximum profit value that is to get the maximum total value. So each item has some weight and some value. So the total weight that you can carry is no more than a fixed threshold that is W. Okay, here there are two types of this problem knapsack is 0 to 1 knapsack problem and the other is fractional knapsack problem. In 0 1 knapsack problem the items are indivisible. That is either you can take an item or not. But in the fractional knapsack problem, items are divisible. That is you can take any fraction of an item. So in this video lecture, we are going to discuss 0 to 1 knapsack problem. So the problem is how to pack the knapsack to achieve the maximum total value of packed items. Or in other words, you can say as it is the maximum VI. So VI is the value subject to wi, wi is the weight and that weight should be lesser than or equal to some threshold weight that is capital W that is indicated by capital W. This problem is called a 0 1 problem because each item must be entirely accepted or rejected. Now let us see an example problem. Here some 4 items are given, the corresponding weights and the values are also given here. So the weight for the item number 1 is 3 and that of value is $1.50. So the weight for item number 2 is 4 and the value is $1.30. The weight for item number 3 is 2 and the value is $1.60. The weight for item number 4 is 5 and the value is $1.40. So now the first step is make a subset of all the items that are listed in the problem. So the four items are given in the problem. You make a subset of the items first. So the subsets are listed here. That is subset 1, 2, 3, 4. Then subset 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. 2, 3, 2, 4. 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 4. 1, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, there are totally... 15 subsets here. So if you include the null set, the total number of subsets will be 16. So if there are 4 items, the total number of subsets will be 16, that is 2 power 4. So the values, the weights and the values are also uh, found out here. So for subset 1, 2, 3, 4, the values and the weights are written as it is. Take for the subset 1, 2, here the total weight that is the weight of subset 1 is combined with the weight of subset 2 that is 3 plus 4 okay the weights are added here similarly the values are also added here that is 50 and 30 50 plus 30 is 80 so we are adding the weights and values and we are uh, listed here in the previous slide the maximum threshold weight is given as 10 so you can pack the knapsack of items which can hold a weight only up to 10, that is 10 kg. So if the weight is exceeding 10 kg, okay, so that is considered as a not feasible solution. So here let us find out the items with weights which are greater than 10 kg. So here you can see the highlighted weights that is subset 1 to 4 has weight 12 which is not feasible, subset 2, 3, 4 has weight 11 which is not feasible Sub and the subset 1, 2, 3, 4 
which has weight 14 that is also not visible. But this is acceptable that is subset 134 has weight 10 which is acceptable because the weight can be less than or equal to the threshold weight. So, 10 kg is acceptable here. Now, from the values listed here, find the maximum value. So, here the maximum value is 150. Okay. So, you should not consider the not feasible solutions. You should not consider the not feasible items. From the other items, you are going to find the maximum total value. So, here the maximum total value is found as $150 which has a weight 10 and the subset is 134. So, we conclude like, we conclude that if you pack the knapsack with the subset of items 134, you will get the maximum profit value which is $150, $150. So, the maximum profit value attained with this uh, method knapsack problem is $150. And the optimal subset is given as 1, 3, 4. So, that is the problem of knapsack. So, depending upon the number of items, the number of subsets also will uh, vary. Okay. So, in this example, uh, we had 4 items. So, the total number of subsets are 16 which is 2 power 4. So, if there are n items, there will be 2 power n possible subsets. Hence, the efficiency can be written as 2 power n. So, hope you enjoyed learning the knapsack problem using brute force approach. Thank you for listening to this video lecture patiently. Meet you again in the next video lecture. Thank you.